This video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. Link in the description. So you know when you're doing green screen for your videos and it just doesn't work? <laughs> I know! Well, I know how to do it. That's right, everybody! Green screen tutorial, and you better follow these instructions correctly or, you're gonna, or your house will blow up, okay? Okay, so listen to me. First of all, you need a green screen, obviously. Second of all, you may need some lighting if your lighting isn't already good. I've got a ring light, but some people may need to light up the background separately. Two for the background, one for your subject. So I'm pretty much going to be showing you how to do a green screen with minimal lighting. So let's just say that you've already got a green screen and a bit of lighting. Record yourself. Try to make sure the background is green overall. There may be some colour change, like there's a window, which I can't change. I've got the blinds closed, yet there's still light coming out. That's annoying. Import it into premiere of Filmora or Sony Vegas. I'm going to be sick if I say that again. Let's, uh, let's expect that you are using Premiere Pro. Put that video into your project and go on Ultra Key. Now you need to put the eyedropper tool and put it on the background. This is bad. Premiere Pro isn't the best at keying out something that isn't full on green. Most importantly, don't wear green. DON'T! You want to go onto HSL Secondary, which I believe is somewhere. I'll show you how to behind me. That's how you do it! And you want to put the eyedropper tool onto the green behind. And you want to pull up the lever. If, it, if the whole of the background isn't lit up in the way that it has for parts of the background, you would have to pick the eyedropper tool with the plus symbol on and kind of hold down the background until it's got everything. Sometimes it will light up you, so you'll have to go on the eyedropper tool with the minus symbol and get rid of the lighting bit on your subject. Now all you need to do now is make the green even more green, if that's even possible. Is it? Yes it is, because I've just shown you, there you go. Now you just need to put an ultra key onto that clip and you get rid of the green. Isn't always perfect, so I like to add a bit of choke and a bit more and a, and a few more variables if it's necessary in that scenario. And there you go. You've done it. Sometimes I like to add a drop shadow if it's all an all white background. <laughs> and there you go. That's how you do a green screen. Now I'm going to go away and um, yeah. This video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. Um, use my link in the description and sign up for your first month free. Um, if you do sign up, it will tell Epidemic Sound that you have gone through me to sign up and I get a bit of money. Money for my mansion. I've won the National Lottery. If you sign up using the link below, yeah, I'm out. Uh, bye.